You ready? Yeah. Questions for our student athletes, please. Tyreek, uh, you guys have been on the wrong end of some games against Loyola. What was it like to be on the end of a good one against Loyola? Uh, I mean, it felt good. Um, no, I ain't been on since my freshman year, so uh, had a big time, big time atmosphere tonight, and I think that really helped us. But uh, you know, that's, I think this is one of our best defensive games we ever had. We've had all year, so uh, it really helped. Yeah, for both of you guys, it really did kind of after it was a shootout in the first ten minutes. It really did start on the defensive end. Um, what do you think the key to that was tonight? I mean, I think we've just been pushing a lot in practice. Um, We've been watching film on Loyola from the first time we played them, and uh, we switched up the way we were going to guard, you know, like Crowig and uh, some of the shooters that had hurt us when we played at their place. And I think the adjustments that we made really helped us. And um, a lot of people off the bench came in and gave gave us great effort. Uh, We just did it collectively tonight. I thought we did a really good job of rotating once we uh, trapped Crowig. We didn't really give them no easy baskets, so that really helped us out down the stretch. It looked like you guys trapped him a little bit, you strafed him a little bit. Mm-hmm. I know Tyreek jumped in there a couple times, you did. Um, did you sense that he was, I mean, he was getting bothered by the different looks you guys were giving him? Definitely. Uh, just kind of mixing it up a little bit. We know that um, once he catches the ball at the mid post area, he likes to take a couple of dribbles one way and then spin back. And that's where you see when Reek uh, got in and um, knocked the ball away. So I think just kind of mixing it up uh, kind of frustrated him a little bit. Jake, what did you learn from the first matchup that you applied to this one? Because he's a different kind of player, I mean, in terms of his skill. But, you know, you guys made the adjustment. What did you learn from that first one? Yeah, I mean, from the first one, you just you just learn um, that there's some ways that you can play him and there's some ways that you can't play him. And I think we made the right adjustment tonight, um, you know, going there and, and giving him some pressure and trying to trap him and knock the ball away because he's really good at finding the open man. For all three of you guys, <coughs> Coach Lansing said that he said before the game that he thinks you guys had a little bit more than what you've even been showing lately. Uh, how'd you take that to heart? How did, what, what did that mean as far as this game was concerned? Yeah, I, def- I mean, I definitely agree with that statement when he said that. Um, uh, I mean, going back to the first time we played Loyola, I, we didn't we didn't really give it any effort, um, especially on the defensive side. And I think uh, collectively, you know, we all took that to heart and uh, wanted to show everybody on the court, you know, that, you know, that we got a new team and, and this is how we actually play. Like he said, uh, we really, really just putting 40 minutes together. Um, you know, it'd been games where we come in, we'd be up at the half quite a bit, and come in, kind of play slow. Um, but uh, defensively, I thought we put 40 minutes together. So. What about you, Christian? What do you think? What's the question again? Just how Coach kind of challenged you guys and said he has had more to give. Uh, yeah, uh, we definitely know what we have in the locker room. We feel like uh, we have one of the most talented teams in the Valley. so. Uh, we were just really working on putting two halves together tonight, and I thought we did that really well. Tyree, the dribble, <coughs> the penetration dish game was probably as good as you guys have been this year. What, what do you think the key to that was? Uh, I mean, they're going to help off me, JB, C. Will, um, especially. And uh, Cam came out the bench, uh, really, really boosted everybody. Um, uh, that, that really sparked the team, uh, sparked the lead there. Um, but yeah. They're going to all bluff to, uh, bluff to anybody that's driving. They play that pack line defense, so they're always in the gaps. Um, so a dribble drive is always going to be there. So it's making round plays. It's four wins in a row now. You guys had another streak like this earlier this season. What's the difference in the feeling this time against conference teams? It's much tougher to beat conference teams uh, than, the, than the one you had earlier in the season. What's different? What's similar? Yeah, I think we just got to keep the same mindset. It's, it's still uh, wins, and it's still the same streak. Uh, I mean, it's obviously different because it's conference play, but I think we just got to keep the same mindset that we have right now and that we showed on the court today and keep going. Uh, I think the Denver since we've been getting a lot of grinded out wins. Uh, hasn't really been easy or pretty, but we've been sticking the course and finding a way to get a win. This one was easier and prettier, though. I mean, did you guys feel like you were in the some of the Some of the shots you guys made, I'm not saying they were bad shots. They were good shots, but there was a distinct feeling there for a while that whatever you guys threw up was going to win. What kind of feeling is that like to be on the floor like that? Uh, it's a good feeling, but I think um, when we're just hitting those shots, it just comes from a lot of confidence and just a lot of confidence in each other. We know um, how good that we can play, and we just try to push each other to reach that limit.